Good afternoon, and we thank you very much for joining us uh, on what is a very sunny and brisk winter day here in the Philadelphia suburbs. This is the latest edition in the Rittenhouse RUC series, Rittenhouse Open Online Courses. And um, wishing everyone a happy new year as we start 2020. Um, we're going to take a quick look back at the year that was 2019 um, in terms of books and titles on the R2 Digital Library. So thank you so much again for joining us. My name is Meg White. I am the Director of Technology Services here at Rittenhouse. And I'm joined by Nicole Gallo, who's our Director of Sales and Marketing. So um, we're going to whip through this information um, relatively quickly today. And um, hopefully we will save some time if you have any questions for us at the end. That's why Nicole's here to back me up. <laughs> so moving right along, just some housekeeping. This session is being recorded and will be made available on the Rittenhouse YouTube channel after. If you're trying to say good, Happy New Year back to me, um, I can't hear you, but thank you. Uh, the audio is muted for participants. And if you do have questions for the Q&A at the end, use the GoToWebinar question tool that is on your dashboard. So I'm going to move quickly through here. So if we do have any questions, we will save time for that. Very straightforward agenda today. We are going to review the top 10 eBooks released on the R2 Digital Library in 2019 and announce a special offer on these titles. So we'll get started. With a quick thank you to our active R2 Digital Library customers. If you are an active customer and you're on the line, we are grateful to you. Um, the data that uh, has driven your collection over the course of the year that your users have produced is what makes R2 Library possible and what makes this list possible. So we thank you so much. And with that, we'll get started. Um, selecting the top 10 ebooks just um, Librarians are certainly data driven, increasingly data driven. We released hundreds of ebooks in 2019, uh, just under 300 titles actually. Uh, data analysis if you are an R2 administrator, you know that R2 has robust data reporting, and that information can help you guide your collection management and your uh, title selection. As far as the top 10 books, what does that mean? What, how do we define that here at Rittenhouse? It's a combination of a lot of different factors, uh, licenses sold, certainly, content retrievals, cost per use, content turnaways, um, resource sharing, and PDA views. The most important thing to point out about these data points is not only do we have access to them here at Rittenhouse across the entire R2 universe, but you as an R2 library administrator, hopefully you're well aware that you have access to every one of these data pieces for your collection. So we're going to take a look at the aggregate today, but don't forget in the R2 reporting area, you can access this information at any time in real time to do analysis for your collection management purposes. So without further ado, the R2 Digital Library Top 10 eBooks of 2019, these are in no particular order. Starting off with some essential tools for clinical practice, most of these are on the nursing side. This is a perennial top 10 title on the R2 Digital Library, Tales, Medications, and Mother's Milk. This is by Springer Publishing. As I said, it is a repeat R2 top 10 selection. And this is current, complete, and evidence-based information on the transmission of maternal drugs into human milk. As you might imagine, this is a multi-edition title. This is actually the 18th edition, the most recent that's available on the R2 Digital Library. It covers 1,300 drugs, diseases, vaccines, and syndrome. Um, this is a duties core title essential purchase. So pails, medication, and mother's milk also appeared on our top 10 list for 2018. Another repeat performer, uh, this is from AORN, Guidelines for Perioperative Practice. This is, uh, again, a triple crown title in terms of data. We're a little off here, hold on. There we go. There we go. There we see the AORN guidelines for perioperative practice 2019. This is an annual publication. It is a triple crown title, a leader in content retrieval, cost per use, and total licenses purchased. So came to the top of the top of the heap in a lot of the data that we looked at to compile this list. 
This is the 32 evidence-based guidelines for all perioperative and invasive procedures published by the society. As I mentioned, this is an annual publication, so no stranger to the R2 Top 10. The new edition, the 2020 edition, is in production currently, and we expect it by the end of the month. So um, if you're looking back at your collection and thinking of uh, adding the new edition, or maybe you're buying this every other year, please wait until the 2020 edition uh, uh, is available. Should be within the next couple of weeks. This is also a duty support title. Next. Um, perioperative care of the pregnant woman. This is published by A1, again, the leading society in this area in terms of care of mothers and babies. Another triple crown title, and again, evidence-based guidelines providing recommendations for care of the pregnant woman having cesarean births and other surgical procedures. The title is from the society and is based on scientific evidence, the scientific principles and empiric evidence, a duty score title. Moving on. Uh, another society publication, and perhaps you're sensing a theme. We'll wrap this up at the end with a couple takeaways, but maybe I'm, I'm, I'm Sort of giving away what one of my points will be or our points will be. This is the 2019-2020 perianesthesia standard practice recommendations and interpretive statements from ASPAN. This pairs really nicely with the AORN standards um, because you really are looping in two of the main functions within that OR. Again, a triple crown title, not a surprise. The two are really bookends. And again, evidence-based guidelines annually updated to reflect state-of-the-art care and this really deals with very diverse adult populations, a duty score title. Next, chemotherapy and immunotherapy guidelines and recommendations for practice. This is from the Oncology Nursing Society, a relatively uh, new title to the R2 library. Certainly, um, I believe this is the first time in 2019 that this was released on a platform. Again, a triple crown leader in content retrieval, cost freeze, and licenses, evidence-based guidelines, and education on chemotherapy, administration, side effects management from the society. This title really addresses the scope and standards of practice, also includes ethical, legal issues, and patient education, a duty score title. Now moving on. Um, just I know it about, you're, you're sensing a theme probably with those first titles that, that came to the top, and, and we did group them. Um, I said they were in no particular order, but they are kind of grouped together. They form a really nice corpus of evidence-based content that focuses on clinical practice. So this is an area, because the R2 Digital Library specializes in health sciences, where we really tend to excel versus some other ebook platforms that are available on the market. We know how important this content is to um, outstanding, delivering outstanding patient care. So we seek it out and try to actively work with these societies, the American Nurses Association, uh, ASPAN, A1, um, the Infusion Nursing Society, more. The R2 Library really does have one of the most robust selections of these standards and guidelines that is offered by any ebook platform in the market. More than 50 titles. There is, if you're familiar with the R2 Digital Library in the collection management area, we do have a special collection there. So you can one click, view all of those titles, and then select individual titles from the, from the collection to add to your shopping cart. And that's all that's for purchases and for adding titles to your patron-driven acquisition collection if you use PDA. So moving on and back to the titles, we've got a visual diagnosis tool, uh, again published by a society. The Atlas of Pediatric Infectious Diseases, and this is from the American Academy of Pediatrics. This was a top seller in 2020 on the R2 Digital Library, and it is based on key content from um, the main Red Book, which aids in the diagnosis and treatment of more than 160 infectious diseases. These are the images to go along with the content in that well-known title. This really does, because medicine and diagnosis, particularly infectious diseases, is so visual, this title has more than 1,200 color images included. So uh, a fantastic companion to the Big Red Book. And again, as a diagnostic tool, those images are so critically important, and they are all contained in this title, why it was one of our top sellers. This is a duty core title 2019 essential purchase as well. 
Coming in, two clinical medical standards. Um, the first is the Mandel, Douglas, and Bennett Principles and Practices of Infectious Diseases. This is the ninth edition. This was a leader in our cost per use. It is an expensive title, but um, because the information is so vital, once it is added to focus collection, that cost per use comes down to a very, very uh, uh, relatively um, reasonable number, typically less than $10, depending upon your environment. This title is Expert Guidance on Diagnosis and Treatment of Infectious Disorders, covers things like Ebola, Zika, Marburg, SARS, MERS, um, C. diff. Um, and it is a former Brandon Hill. Uh, it's in its ninth edition. It's one of those uh, cornerstone titles. And it is a duties court title, published by Elsevier. Next, from Lippincott, Williams, and Wilkins, a title that's probably familiar to uh, many folks on the line if you've worked in health sciences. Also a ninth edition, the only EKG book you'll ever need. This title was a leader in 2019 in cost per use and content retrieval, and it gives quick and accurate discussions on using EKG to diagnose cardiac and non-cardiac conditions. The book has been available and a leader for more than 30 years. Um, the, the interesting thing about this book, it really cuts across um, many areas of practice. So you will see medical students using this book, residents using this book, nurses, and allied health professionals. This is a former Brandon Hill and is a duty support title. So to go along with those two clinical uh, medical references, uh, this is a new medical textbook standard. This is Weeder's Pathology, a text, atlas, and review of histopathology. Uh, most folks, or many folks, might, might be familiar with Weeder's Histology, a leading histology textbook formerly published by Churchill Livingstone, um, now acquired and published by Elsevier. But this is a companion. This, this, focuses, this title focuses specifically on histopathology, um, a piece of information that if you're a medical student taking USMLE, step one, basic sciences, uh, very critical information to passing that exam. But this bundles everything they need to know all in one book. And uh, as you can see here, a leader in cost per use and a reflection of the utilitarian nature of this, of this textbook. So it is a concise introduction to histopathology, covers basic mechanisms, and a, a review of system pathology. Excellent companion to the aforementioned Weider's functional histology. So um, shot right to the top um, and um, has the potential to be a new classic in terms of medical education. Okay, moving on. Well, useful for all healthcare students and professionals moving out of medicine, uh, legal and ethical issues for health professionals. This is from Jones and Bartlett Learning. This title in 2019 was a leader in content retrieval, cost for use, and turnaways. Um, this really, again, um, as a sailor, this cuts across many different um, levels of the professionals that you're serving. So it has case studies and can be, it's technically an allied health textbook, but it also can be used for nurses or other medical professionals on the healthcare team who want to take a look at different case studies in legal and ethics, legal medicine and ethics that have a real world emphasis. So this book really does go from the classroom into the clinical reality of the clinical environment. It is a duties essential core title. So that is our top 10 list. Um, and I know you're thinking, oh, I'm going to purchase all these titles, and would she please just go ahead and announce the special? So um, we are offering a discount incentive on these. We'll save that for the end. But wanted to make sure, I mentioned earlier, if you're short on funds, not only can these titles be purchased, but they can be added to your R2 patron-driven acquisition, or as some folks have been calling this, Rittenhouse's evidence-based acquisition option. So you can add any active title to your PDA. Your users get three uses of the full text at no cost to you. Once a title is used three times, that fourth access, the title is moved to your cart, and you get a notification. You have then 30 days in which to decide whether or not you would like to add that title to your collection. So this is really a no risk, no commitment way for you to expose additional content to your users and then use that usage data to help inform your collection development decisions. So you can add title by title or you can browse in the R2 collection management area to special collections. 
and add an entire special collection, including the 2019 R2 Top 10 to your PDA. Uh, for those of you that use PDA or are interested in PDA, we do have a replenishment tool available. So you can set up your PDA title collection to auto, um, to auto update. So you can include new editions of previously purchased titles, new editions of PDA titles, set those rules up and that can be done automatically for you. So it's a little word about PDA. And uh, lest we forget, a real quick plug, um, free content on the R2 Digital Library. Uh, we currently have 24 free resources on the R2 Library. Coming in 2020, we're bringing on a new publisher actually out of Cambridge University in the UK. They have published an open access environmental biology textbook. Um, the, the name of the company is Open Book Publishers. So that will be coming. Um, it's in production in early 2020. And it will really be our first open access, full open access textbook. Um, this will be used for undergraduate um, higher level biology classes. So very interested to see um, what the uptake will be on that book. Again, it's open book publishers, but they come out of Cambridge University in the UK. R2 titles, free titles are available to all libraries with an active R2 library collection and the usage is unlimited. You do have to add them to your collection, however. So just log into admin, select free resources from the special collection, and then purchase your ebook. So free content. We didn't have, last year we did have a, a free book on our top 10 list, the Merck Manual. Didn't have that this year, but we did add a really great resource on opioid addiction to our free resources collection. So please do, if you didn't take a look at those free titles in 2019, give that a look in terms of refresher and you may want to add some of those titles to your collection. Again, no charge. So, um, I think I've saved time for questions. I have, Nicole's telling me I have, that's good. And um, just the takeaways, and I kind of maybe gave this away a little bit, and the way the title sort of unfolded, you might have uh, sort of teased this out, but the clinical guidelines are, are high value content, not, not only for clinical practitioners, because they wouldn't be making our top 10 list unless they were also very, very popular in our academic library uh, customers' collections. So um, practitioners delivering high quality patient care certainly rely on these guidelines. Students who need to learn the right way to practice are using these. I would also point out faculty are active, active users. If you're in an academic environment, they want to design a curriculum that is evidence-based. These are the primary source documents that they would need to do that. So, um, you know, these clinical guidelines, yes, that they are for practice and ensuring quality patient care, but also for students learning and faculty who are working, actively working in the curriculum. And then the second point here in terms of takeaways, um, on the medical side especially, you see those top titles that are cornerstone titles, uh, you know, the Thaler in print for 30 years, the um, Mandel infectious diseases, I, you know, I sold that 25 years ago when I was a sales rep. Um, so these trusted print titles are still recognized, they're still valued. So, it's an important indicator um, when you're reviewing these titles. Um, if they were popular in print, if they were of use in print, they're also going to be of high value uh, in electronic format. So on the R2 library, in terms of tools, we do, you know, you can't remember all these titles. Um, I certainly don't remember all these titles, but the Brandon Hill and DCT information um, is still a very, are still very um, helpful collection development tools. And we do capture that information and display it for you on the R2 library. You can even use the sort and filter tools to filter out just the DCT essentials, the duties core titles, and also Brandon Hill, um, former Brandon Hill collection. So that information is still there. These are still, you know, years and years later, um, th those rock solid name brands are, are still popping to the top of our list in terms of usage and purchases. So, don't discount that information in terms of collection management, and we do make it available for you. Um, that wraps up all of my comments. Um, do you have any questions? Um, hi, this is Nicole. We did receive a question, and if you have a question, just use your toolbar to type it in. Um, someone asked, how can I request my cost per use by ebook? 
Okay, I, I'm not going to jump over and show that, but you can absolutely, um, that data is available to you as an R2 library administrator. So if you log into R2, select the administrative tool, and then click on the resource usage report in the left nav, cost per use will come up with each individual title in your collection. Um, I find that if you have a larger collection, the best thing to do once you get the report configured on screen that you would like, go ahead and use the tools option and export that data into Excel because you can then sort that data by cost per use, ascending or descending, but also all of the other columns in that table, all the other data points in that report, you can also manipulate. So I do like um, exporting that data and that makes it easier to do the analysis. But that cost per use, um, we typically find that that is a great indicator of, of value. And you know, it, it doesn't do any good to add titles to your collection, um, even if they cost 10 cents that aren't being used. So this is a great indicator and a great data point for your collection management purposes. Okay, we have another question. When you say titles are leaders in cost per use, do you mean lower cost per use? Yes, absolutely. Lower is always better. <laughs> always better. We like to see that number approaching zero um, because that means that um, that title is, is being used uh, consistently and is a good value for the, the precious budget dollars that have been expended to add it to the collection. Okay, we have a question about the special offer. Um, how long will the pricing discount um, be available for the most used title? So here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Perfect <laughs> timing. Stole my thunder. Here's the flash sale. Act now and save. <laughs> I'm doing my best used car sale person <laughs> imitation this afternoon. We are offering a 22% discount on the top 10 for 2019. Begins today. No promotion code is required. Um, if you just add these titles in, as a group or individually to your shopping cart, we will reflect that 22% discount. It's good from now until the 15th. So um, please do, uh, if you've got some time between now and the next week or so, you can go in and take a look at that special collection. And if any of those titles are appropriate, please do take advantage of that special 22% discount. All right, okay. looks like we're a little bit over time. I do apologize. I know that this is a busy time of year. We thank you again for joining us. Hopefully this information was useful for you. Um, we will make this available, as we said, on our YouTube channel. And if you need any additional information, please don't hesitate to contact us. Um, we do have 30-day free trials of the Archer Digital Library. Or you can email me, meg.white at rentenhouse.com. And we would love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Happy New Year all. And um, let's get to it. Take care. Bye-bye.